Hello everyone. Let us try to understand that how do we apply the section formula in our questions. So here is the first question which says that we have to find the coordinates of points of trisection of the line segment joining the points 4 comma minus 1 and minus 2 comma minus 3. Now before proceeding to the question let us first draw the diagram and let us first understand that how the question is picturizing. So here is a line segment and the coordinates of A is minus 2 comma minus 3 and the coordinates of B we had assumed to be 4 comma minus 1. Now we have to find the coordinates of points of trisection of this line segment AB. So let us have two points which are trisecting this line segment into three parts. Let us say that P and Q are there. So now this P and Q will be dividing each part of this AB into one ratio. So we can say that AP, PQ and QB will all be equal. So their ratios will be 1, 1 and 1. Now we can apply the section formula and find out the coordinates of point P and point Q. Now for that we should know the ratio of AP and PB. Since AP we know this is 1 and PB we can add 1 and 1. So the ratio of AP will be 1 and PB will be and now we can apply the section formula to get the coordinates of P. So to apply the section formula, we know the formula. It is 2 goes with 1 and 1 goes with 2. So it is M1X2 plus M2X1 upon M1 plus M2 and M1Y2 plus M2Y1 upon M1 plus M2. So let's apply this and get the value of P. So let's find out. The coordinates of P will be equals to, we can apply the section formula, M1 is 1 and X2 is 4 plus M2 X1. M2 is 2 and M X1 is minus 2. So this will be 2 into minus 2 whole upon M1 plus M2. M1 is 1 and M2 is 2. Now comma again apply in y also so this will be m1 is 1 again and y2 is minus 1 so this will be minus 1 plus m2 is 2 and y1 is minus 2 so this will be 2 into minus 3 and whole upon 1 plus 2 now just solve this and get the value of coordinates of P. So this will be 4 and 2 into minus 2 will be minus 4. So this will come out to be 4 minus 4 upon 3 comma. Similarly solve this. This will be minus 1 and this will be 2 into minus 3 will be minus 6. So minus 6 upon 3. Now solve it further. 4 minus 4 will be 0 and this will be minus 1 minus 6 will be minus 7. So this will be minus 7 by 3. So the coordinates of P are coming out to be 0 comma minus 7 by 3. Now to find out the coordinates of Q, we have to get the ratio AQ and QB. So we have to remove these ratios 1 and 2 and get the ratios AQ and QB. So this is 2 and that is 1. Now we can again apply the section formula and get the coordinates of Q as well. So the coordinates of Q will be equals to this is again M1 X2 and M2 X1. So just apply this. M1 has changed now. This is 2 and X1 is 4 plus M2 has also changed it has changed to 1 now so this will be 1 and x1 is same it is minus 2 whole upon 2 plus 1 and similarly solve for y m1 is 2 and y2 is minus 1 plus m2 is 1 and 
y1 is minus 3. So put the values 1 into minus 3 and whole upon 2 plus 1. Now again solve this and get the coordinates of q. So this will be 4 into 2 will be 8 and this will be minus 2 whole upon 3 comma this is minus 2 and this will be minus 3. So this will be minus 2 minus 3 whole upon 3. Now this will be 8 minus 2 will be 6 and divided by 3 will come out to be 2. So this will be 2 and comma this will be minus 5 by 3. So the coordinates of q are coming out to be 2 comma minus 5 by 3. So we can mark the coordinates of q to be 2 comma minus 5 by 3.